Entering Las Vegas from the I-15 looked completely different in 1988. We can see the original building of Caesar's Palace. So this is Flamingo Road heading east. On the right would be the Bellagio. You can just see Bally's still there and the Barbary Coast. So we're standing on Las Vegas Boulevard looking north and we'd be where the Bellagio is. You can see the old dunes which would be the start of the Bellagio. And then across the road the Aladdin is where the Paris is at the moment. This was the original frontage of the Aladdin and now replaced by the Paris Hotel here on Las Vegas Boulevard. The Oasis stood on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Flamingo Road, right on the corner where the Bellagio now starts. So now known as the Flamingo, nothing really changed apart from if you've been there recently the uh, sign has actually faded quite a lot. The fountains in front of Caesar's Palace still remain as of today. On this picture you can see the cranes which is the building of the Mirage Hotel behind Caesar's Palace. So who remembered going to the Pointer Sisters at Caesar's Palace in 1988? So a lot has changed here. We're looking at the front of what is now Harrah's. Looking north on Las Vegas Boulevard towards the dunes on the corner of Flamingo Road and the Aladdin on the right and the old Vagabond Inn where the Bellagio is now. So who remembers dunes on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Flamingo Road? So we can see the construction on the left for the Mirage and the Flamingo sign that they used to have there on the right hand side. So on this picture we can see Frontier and just behind it Stardust which now stands Resort World and on the right hand side will stand the Wynn. The El Rancho has been replaced by the new Fountain Blue. Uh, which was the biggest building on the Las Vegas Strip and been empty since 2007 uh, but hopefully opening in 2023. The old Sahara on the right and the world's largest gift store which is still there on the uh, corner of Sahara and Las Vegas Boulevard. So on these pictures we're entering downtown Las Vegas and Fremont Street and you'll see that you used to be able to drive westbound uh, from Las Vegas Boulevard up through Fremont Street and it used to be a one-way street Well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick video of Las Vegas back in 1988. And I'm sure if you visit Las Vegas now in 2022 or 2023, you'll see a whole lot of difference. Thanks for watching.